course, I'm joined by marvelous Maverick Moore here. We have got some intermediate action going on as Lockwell Lambs is going to take on Gitan Elite Hazelton. Young, young teams here. I'm here. Look, some good guys. Second of all, not good wolves. Gantanix, good with good. Maverick Moore here. We're looking to have an exciting game here in the first game of the intermediate division. Yeah, they're really kicking off the, the, the tournament here. And we, we were talking a little bit about earlier about the, the contrast of the teams. Uh, Lockwell Arms has a very, very young team. I mean... They look like a 1,700 team. Yeah, there. for sure. Now, it gets on there a bit more storied in this. But uh, players to look out for, for me, for Lockwell Lambs is Lloyd Dudeward. I watched him in the U13 division. And he is definitely an up-and-coming star for the Lockwell Lambs squad. So we're going to look to get things underway here shortly. we got a great day coming up for you. got lots of games in action. Coming up at 11 a.m., we're going to see the Hazleton Mystics take on the Old Masset Lady Raiders. 1 p.m., we got Kitimat, the defending champs, taking on New Ianch. 4 p.m., we got Kitimat again in the senior men's division taking on Hazleton. And then tonight, we have Skittigat awaiting the winner of New Ianch and Old Masset. So lots of good games in action today here on CFNR. And this intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by the Gets Unheard Chiefs. And on video on North Arm Transportation, I'm going to be doing the color. And Maverick is going to be doing the play-by-play. -play. Here we go with the tip-off. Josh Wesley and uh, Theodore White with the tip-off there. Hazleton wins the tip-off. Here's Josh with the ball. Hazleton looking to set it up. Takes it in, drives it into the middle, puts up a right hook. No good. Rebound, offensive rebound by Hazleton. Hazleton with the ball. Gets on, looking to set it up, crosses him up, puts it between his legs, puts up a mid-range jumper, no good. They get their offensive rebound again, that's two in a row for Gets on. Got a three ball there for number one. Who's that? Caleb. Luckily, Lamb's looking to make a run here. Working the ball around, setting it up. Swinging the ball around, looking to drive it in on the Gets on. Good work, good, good work by the boys there. And this is what we expect from two intermediate teams. Fast-paced action, back and forth. Ooh, throwing the ball out there. Good save by Caleb. Oh, good drive by Caleb. Puts it up with the right hand, no good. Just a little bit too soft there. Looks like we've got a foul here. Goes and down he hard. Tripped, tripped up. up there by Caleb Wilson. Is that number 11? Gregory Sutherland. Sutherland going down hard and... Slowly getting up. That's one thing I always forget about the intermediate division is how fast these kids get up and down the court. <laughs> They're so fast. Because when I was an intermediate, it was never that fast. <laughs> I mean, I was never that fast. <laughs> no, me <Correctly>. neither. <laughs> <laughs> we got number 10 here with the ball. Richard Sampson. We got a foul here. Foul on Caleb. If that is on Kalem, that could be a second foul. Lachlan Lambs inbounding the ball. Good tight defense here by Gitzan. Oh, good read by Kalem on the defensive end. Picks off the pass. Looking to set it up. Kalem Wilson. Wilson. There's Josh. Oh, almost has that stolen away there. Good defense here by Lachlan Lambs. Really good defense. These young guys are feisty out there. Good, re good defensive rebound there and good defense by Laka Lambs. Looking to set it up here. Young Richard Sampson getting it going. Nice pass on the inside there. Ooh. And got another foul. Number two. So that's... Torin, on Torin Daniels. Torin Daniels. The foul there. His first. Shooting two free throws here. We got our first check into the game. Jacob Crook checking into the game as well. Winner of this game goes on to play Prince Rupert tomorrow, tomorrow night at 6.30, Tuesday, February 11th. And then the loser will go down to play... Wednesday, tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Oh, no. 
And Tristan gets fouled in there as he's trying to drive the lane. Look for Tristan Derrick to be very aggressive as one of the, I guess you could say, elders on the intermediate team. <laughs> yeah. One of the vets. <laughs> I guess veteran would be a better word. One of the vets. There's Kalen wide open. Looking to cross it up, putting on the dance move. Indian dances way through there on the baseline. Puts up a mid-range jumper, no good. Rebound by Lucky Lambs. Lucky Lambs pushing the ball up the court quickly. Gets quick two points. There's number number 10, Richard Sampson. Good tight defense by Richard after the two points there. Going for the pick and roll. Gets picked off by Lucky Lambs. Lucky Lambs pushing the ball up the court. Ooh, long three pointer. A little bit too hard there. Air ball. That was uh, Jacob Crook launching that one. Jacob Crook. Thank you. Oh, a nice give and go there on the baseline. Can't finish the reverse, but wow. A couple easy layups missed by Hazleton so far this morning. A little bit slow to wake up. Another three ball here by. That was due to her. Lambs, number 30, wearing that Steph Curry jersey. So number. it's a 6 nothing lead here early for Aqua Lambs. And uh, I don't know if the intermediate divisions used to be enough this early. I know I'm not. <laughs> it's not even their school time yet. <laughs> Barely had time to grab a coffee this morning. <laughs> Who needs coffee when you got the all-native basketball tournament exactly. as I drink my coffee? <laughs> it's enough excitement to get me going through the day. Oh, nice nice pass to uh, number two there. Oh, that's nice. Torrin. Kalen putting on the moves. Nice give and go, or pick and roll. It's in. Josh fires the three. Long rebound by Lucky Lambs. Lucky Lambs. Oh, good read by the Josh there on gets in. Wide open three ball for Caleb. And that's what we can expect from Caleb. He is a lights out shooter. Good ball handling there by Lucky Lambs. Another three ball here. No good. Gets their offensive rebound. Good hustle there for. Theodore. Kalem up to Tristan. Tristan takes it into the middle. Puts it up. Gets hacked on the play. Trying to go for the and one. Not this time. Now foul looked to be on Gregory Sutherland. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Five minutes and 55 seconds left in the first quarter. Gets on battling right back in it. Of course, so early into the game. As Derek can't get the first one going. Six to three. Early in the first, 5-5-5 five, five, five left. Hits the second one. Nice form there with Tristan Derrick. It's Jacob Ryan with the ball, driving it in, kicks it out. Ooh, nice little drive, nice little floater by Jacob Crook. He can't finish, can't put it in the hole. Tristan Derrick taking the ball back down for Gitzan. Three yeah. ball for Caleb Splash. Making them count here. And Salem Wilson can heat up quick. Can't let him shoot. Cannot let him shoot. Luckle Lambs gets the ball picked off by the get on Tristan Derrick stealing his cookies there. Oh, good, good look there. So it's going to stay on the offensive end for the get on. And both teams getting comfortable. Game of runs so far. One point game here. Ooh, Tristan Derrick giving him the barbecue chicken down there in the post. Nice stop step. Another three ball. Luck of Lambs. Long rebound to get their own offensive rebound. Jacob Ryan fires the three. Makes it count. Here we go. Back and forth we go. Aqua Lambs gets in. 9-9. Ooh, Kevin Love pass. 
Makes its way through. Can't finish the, open, uh, the easy layup there. No love on the rebound. No easy shots. These young Luck of Lambs playing pretty good defense. Another three ball for Luck of Lambs. And splash. Nothing but net. Dudeward getting it going early. Lloyd. I think it's the haircut. It's a nice haircut. It's the perm. Caleb Wilson takes it right in. He kind of used the backboard right as, a, as a pick. Yeah, I don't think they expected him to go up with that. No, that was nice. Smooth. There's Lloyd with the ball. Take it in with the left hand. Puts it up with Ooh. the right. And he gets it in for the end one. The facial foul. Number three, Tyrell Harris. So Lloyd Dudor getting it done. And that's what I was saying before the game. We got to watch this kid. He is going to be a star. That Lloyd, man, that was nice. Good take there, Lloyd. Offensive rebound by Luckle Lambs to get it and put it up with the fadeaway. On the baseline there is number 13. Sutherland. Sutherland. Gets in with the ball, put it up. Defensive rebound by Luckle Lambs. Luckle Lambs looking to bring the ball up the court. Oh, he oh. takes it in with a nice little euro. Scoops it up. No good. Defensive rebound by Gitsan. It's Caleb carrying the ball up. Oh, dangerous pass there. Trying to cut it through. Gets picked off by a strike force. Strike force carrying the ball up. Looking to put the moves on. Trying to set it up. Nice little pick and roll action. And an 18 to 11 lead here for Lockwell Lions with three minutes left in the first. Ooh, Scalem wiggling his way through to the top and puts up a nice floater. Single handedly keeping his team in the game here. 18 13, five point game. Was that eight points so far for Calum? Oh, good work in the post there by number 11, Gregory Sutherland. Kalen Wilson. Trying to look for that pick and roll. He wasn't ready for it. Another turnover here for the gets on. Luckle Lambs with the ball, getting ready to inbound the ball here. 20 to 13, we've got a seven point game. Both teams looking to light it up from the three point line here. Another three ball for Luck of Lambs. No good. Get their own offensive rebound. Good hustle there on that offensive rebound there. Finds a wide open Sutherland. Another two points. Josh looking to drive it in on the baseline. Takes a nice little step in with the left and puts it up with the right. Pretty good. Good take. Effective use of the glass there on that one. 22-15. Luck of Lambs still leads. Nice back and forth action here. First game of the day. Oh, nice take. Samson putting that one in up off the glass. and He's played the whole first quarter, no sub. Richard Sampson. That's the benefit of having enters, Mavia. These guys can play 40 minutes. <laughs> oh, he just danced them up there. Oh, it takes it to the lane. So the different contrast styles of play that I'm seeing right now is... Gitsan is really relying on their main guys to just get the job done by themselves. And we're seeing a lot more ball movement from Lockwell Lambs. And now the scoreboard's reflecting that. It's going to be interesting to see the adjustments that they make, you know, during a first timeout or during the end of the first half. Because you get one pass from Gitsan, and then they either drive or they shoot. Yeah. We're not seeing that second pass. They're looking for the pick and roll, and it's not there. Lockwell Lambs uh, defense is doing really well here, the young guys. But... Kalen Wilson has something to say about that. Puts it in oh. for two and a Turn line over. violation there. He st stepped in bounds. Now with Sutherland, it happens. And here comes Gitsan. Is Derek inbounding the ball? Gets the ball back at the three point line. Fires from the corner, no good. Ball knocked out of the air by Gitsan. Oh no, looks like Gitsan ball actually. 
Got a substitution coming in here. Christian Wesley coming in for Jacob Crook. Gets on, looking to set it up on the inbound here. Kalen wide open for three. Not this time. Oh, oh good collapsed. block there by Lauren. Stakia Lauren. Kalen looking to set it up for the get on. Pass it in the high post. He gets it back with the give and go, and he gives it, tries to give it back. It's not there. He gets picked off by the good hands of Luckle Lands. Luckle Lands pushing the ball down the court. Nice bounce pass right into the middle. Trying to tic tac toe there. He gets picked off again. Kalen Wilson, wide open layup. Should hit that 10 out of 10, that Kalen. Six point lead here for Lockwell Arms. 30 seconds left. Nice quick little first step there by number 11, Gregory. Gets his own rebound. Good hustle there for Gregory fighting for that rebound. And it looks like we got a jump ball. Yep. So possession is going to stay in the offensive end for Lock uh, Lockwell Lambs. 18 seconds left, 24 to 18. Lockwell Lambs holding on to a six-point lead. And they can't hold on the last shot as the shot clock has 14 seconds left on it. 18 seconds in the game. Good back and forth action here. Lacko Lambs inbounding the ball. Passes to the cutting, number 13, who puts it up. No good. Rebound by Gitsan. Gives the Kevin Love pass into Johnson. Tries to go up and under. Gets the ball knocked out of his hands. That was great defense there by Dudeward as he kind of anticipated the pump fake and didn't move at all. Way to plant his feet there. Kalen Wilson splash all the way from Kitsan Historical Village. Oh, interesting. Derek tried to steal it away off the inbound there, and that's going to do it for the first half. This intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by the Kitsan Hereditary Chiefs. And on the video by North Arm Transportation. We'll be right back after these messages. We are Gitsan. We have lived in our traditional territories for thousands of years. The Gitsan chiefs are the holder of rights and title over 33,000 square kilometers of traditional Gitsan territory. We strive to build economic independence and maintain the hereditary system of land ownership and inheritance to benefit all Gitsan people. Join us as we work to pave the way to a better future with a foothold in our past for strength and integrity and the well-being of all people in Gitsan territory. Learn more at Gitsan.com. 24-21, gets out and battled right back into this game. Still lots of ball left. Derek for three, no good on that one, Mav. Ooh, gets out trying to hustle for the oh, ball. Oh, Josh Wesley goes into the stands. Goes flying out the gym there. He's fine. High five. <laughs> He's back. Lacko Lambs inbounding the ball. Jacob Bryan carrying the ball for Lacko Lambs, looking to drive it in on Josh. Gets stripped away. Josh just stole his cookies. Caleb Wilson carrying the ball down, getting picked up by Luckle Lambs. Josh taking it straight through the middle, puts it up, misses the layup. Rebound by number 11 by Port Simpson. Port Simpson pushing the ball down the court. Looking to set it up. There's Crook. No good with the right hand floater. Gets in with the ball, looking to set it up. Long, deep three ball from Caleb, no good. Rebound by Derek. Derek puts it up, no good. A little too hard there off the glass. Lloyd Dudeward puts it behind his back, puts it up with the right hand. <laughs> good work. Oh, <laughs> double L, Lloyd. <laughs> Took him to school there. It's Caleb. Ooh. Almost traveled there. Derek takes it in, drives it straight through the hole, just a little bit too soft there. Luckle Lambs with the ball, driving it into the hole, kicks it out, number 10, Richard Sampson. Back to Ryan, can't get it to go down there. Kalen pushing the ball back up the court for 
He gets in between his legs, through the middle, puts it up for a nice, easy little layup there. Good work. 13 points for Kalen Wilson already here. 7.40 left in the second quarter. Hit that nice three ball just before the end of the first quarter there. Ooh, deep three ball by Lloyd, all the way from Church Street. Lack of lambs. Lloyd Dudard getting it going. Gets out with the ball. Ooh, nice little hezzy there by Caleb. Gets the and one. It's Caleb's world. We're just living in it. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. He's going 15 points and going for one more here. 16. Let's see if we can make that count. And it's not like they're not defending him. He just made an end one shot right there. Like, Caleb Wilson make, is just a, a hyper-talented kid. He just makes it look so easy, too. He does. <laughs> makes me wish I could do it. Right? <laughs> Splash is on the two-point play there. Looks like Caleb is just subbing out, taking a quick breather for a sub of the game. Left the with the ball. Looking to go on a little run here. Oh, he gets blocked. That was good help side defense. Yeah, real good help side defense by Tyrell Harris. Looking to fill up Gigi's smokehouse. Luckle Labs with the ball, working it around. Good hands. Let it get 10. That was number nine. Number nine. This number's not on here. Richard Hills. And we got a timeout. This intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by the Gitan Hereditary Chiefs and on video by North Arm Transportation. We'll be right back for these messages. North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lacqualams, and to everyone participating in the 61st All Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs. Welcome back. We're here in the Jim Ciccone Civic Center Intermediate Action. Lock will bleeds 29-26. I'm Kiefer Carlson. Of course, we got Marvelous Maverick Moore on the play-by-play. -play. We've got a foul here on number three. Tyrell Harris, Lacolam, or gets on. Lacolam's inbounding the ball here. Got a three-point game here, seven minutes, eight seconds left. Lacolam's looking to set it up. Lacolam's working around, fires deep three ball, splashes right in his face. Jacob Ryan getting it going from deep, 32-26. Hand right in his face. Didn't even flinch. Shot clock was down, too. It's good work. Oh, good defense by Jacob Ryan. Dude, on both ends. Michael Lyons pushing the ball up the court quickly. Just a little bit of uh, miscommunication there. He zigged when he should have zagged. Yep. Gets on inbounding the ball. Michael Lyons looking to make a run while Kalem's on the bench. Ooh, good drive there. Faked him up, puts it up a little too hard. Get their own offensive rebound. Hazleton fires mid-range baseline jumper. Josh, no good. Good rebound there. That's a grown man rebound. Way to go, Crook. Took it right out of his hands there. It's Richard Sampson taking it in, puts it up with the left hand floater. No good. Rebound by Gitsan. Gitsan pushing the ball up the court. It's Tyrell. Number two puts it up with the Ooh. fadeaway. Ooh. Fade the post there. Torin Daniels. Good move there. Got the Lambs. Looking to answer back. We got 32 to 28, four point game here. Driving it in is Jacob Bryan. Puts it up with the left hand over Joshua. Josh gets a rebound. Throws down the Kevin Love pass. Number, to number two. Oh, that could have been goaltending. He smacked the backboard. Yeah. Oh, he gets the ball back. Gets in, gets the ball back, and they're pushing the ball back down the court. Josh, take it in with the left hand, puts it up with the right floater. Makes that count, nothing but net. Josh Wesley getting them done. Lacolams. Two-point game. 
And this is with Kalem on the bench as well for Gitzan. They're making a bit of a run. Ooh, nice little in and out there. Cuts it in and finds the cutting crook for the easy two points for Lucko Lambs. Lucko Lambs is doing some good work out there with the ball in terms of passing. Five Josh. minutes left in the first half. Josh between the legs, takes a step back and makes it <laughs> count. Oh, Josh <laughs> Wesley. He's firing up here. The chef is out there cooking. No hairnets needed. <laughs> no, not today. <laughs> Going to get another jump ball there. He's lost the handle, and it's tough when you get swarmed by Gitsan. They're so smart defensively. Yeah, good, good spacing on the def defensive end and on the offensive end. Good, setting it up pretty good on both ends. Both teams putting on a good show this morning for the first game of the day. First game of the Intermediates Division. Lucky Lambs gets on. Lucky Lambs with the ball. Nice little quick bounce pass. He's too quick. He wasn't ready. Kalen's back in. Passes the ball down to number two. Torrin Daniels gets another two points there for Kitsan. We've got 34-35. One point game. Kitsan up by one. First lead of the game in a few minutes. Jacob Bryant driving it in. Takes a shot. Fakes a shot and passes it off. Oh, oh and wow. And that's what I was talking about, the ball movement. Very unselfish. Although it did look like some players were a little hesitant to shoot the open shot, but they found their man, and now we got an end one. That was Samson going in there. Wow, incredible basketball here. Looking like the Spurs out there with that ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes Malcolm pop. I'd agree. <laughs> Three ball for Derek. Misses. They get their own rebound. And he gets fouled going up for a second shot. There's uh, Torn. That was Sutherland who uh, committed the foul. That could be his third. Torn Daniels holding his hand. Oh, it's his fourth foul. Ooh. So Sutherland in foul trouble, <laughs> to say the least. But Torn Daniels going, looking to tie the game up with this first one. No good on the first. Sutherland still in the game with and, four fouls. Yeah, and Lloyd Dudewer checks in, I think. Unless that wasn't on Sutherland and that was on Christian Wesley. That's brave keeping him in there. Whoa. Good offensive rebound there by Gitsan. Oh, nice, nice little sneak bounce pass. pass. No look. <laughs> Luck alive with the ball. Looking to put the moves on it. He does. He wiggled his way right through there. With the left hand, Jacob Ryan. Slice and dice. Gitsan with the ball. Derek taking it straight into the hole. Looks like he got blocked, tipped away by Lloyd. And it looks like uh, we got another substitution happening here. Daniel's checking out. Coming in for Richard. Gets on with the ball. Oh, just uh, another turnover here for Gets on. A little bit of a sloppy play there by Johnson. Is just shouldn't ate that popcorn for breakfast. Slipped out of his hands. Yeah. <laughs> Must have went to the movies last night. Birds of prey. Heard it's good. Strike force with the ball. Posting up in the high post, kicks back out to the top, swinging it around. Three ball for Lloyd. Splash! You cannot leave oh Lloyd Dudeward open. You have to be in that guy's oxygen to stop him from shooting. 41 to 35. And we're going to get a timeout here. This intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by the Gitsan Hereditary Chiefs and on the video by North Arm Transportation. We'll be right back after these messages. North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lacqua Lambs, and to everyone participating in the 61st All Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs.
North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lac Willams, and to everyone participating in the 61st All Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs. Get done, getting Max at the ball, pushing the ball up the court. Johnson gets swatted out by Lloyd. Lloyd is such a good defender. He literally just hezied his jump. He just moved his shoulders up a little bit, which, oh. Gave him the perfect position to just swat him out. I'm going to go get his autograph later. <laughs> get a selfie. Joining. Get a selfie. Yeah. I think I'm going to get that haircut. <laughs> <laughs> So Tristan Derrick head into the line. This intermediate game is brought to you by on the radio by the Get Center Raiders of Chiefs and on the video by North Arm Transportation. We'll be right back after these free throws. <laughs> North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lac Willams, and to everyone participating in the 61st All Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs. On over the back call there, a little bit of an anticipation uh, jump there by Sutherland, and he's got one. I'm really impressed with uh, my cousins here, both sides of the court. My Hazleton cousins, Simshan cousins. 28 seconds, two-point game. The intermediate division, always an exciting, fast-paced division to watch. Looking to trap Caleb in the backcourt there. Nice pass by Caleb. Good dish. That's no look dish. shovel pass. Now, technically, they should hold for the last shot, but this, again, is the intermediate division. I think they're just going to force whatever they can get. <laughs> yeah. Back and forth action. Oh, it's Jacob. No dice there. Kevin Love pass by who's that, Josh. Yeah, no good. One second left here in the half, and that's probably just going to be about it. And they might be able to get a shot off. The heave-ho all the way. Heads up! Oh, my goodness. Didn't even phase the elder sitting on the baseline. Oh, my heart stopped a little bit there, but we got a tie game going out of the first half. We'll have your halftime stats in just a bit. This Intermediates game is brought to you on the radio by the Gitsan Hereditary Chiefs and on the video by North Arm Transportation. Back with the halftime stats. 13-1 and go. Welcome back. Time now for the halftime cliff notes. All the stats to this point are brought to you by Shearwater Marina. Now, we're looking at the young Lockwell Lamb squad. Richard Sampson, the point guard, he has seven points, but he's shooting 50% from the field, which is kind of the story of Lockwell Lambs here. We'll get into that. Jacob Ryan with eight. Lloyd Dudeward leading Lockwell Lambs right now with 16 points. Gregory Sutherland with four points. And then uh, uh, Jacob Crook, the big man for them, he has six points as well. One rebound. Lloyd Dudeward also has six rebounds as well. So that rounds out the scoring 
for Lachlan Lambs. Now moving over to the get and Kalen Wilson leading all scorers with 18 points on pace for a potential 40-point game. Tristan Derrick with a solid 10. Terrell Johnson with two. Josh Wesley, who's been the minute man, Mav, he's got uh, 20 minutes in the first half as well <laughs> played. So he's got uh, he's got seven points as well, and uh, he's just been an all-around animal out there. He's got five rebounds. And um, uh, to round up the scoring, Michael McClain has two, and Torin Daniels has uh, four points as well. But both teams are shooting extremely well. Gets and 44% from the field as opposed to Lockwell Lambs, who's shooting 53% from the field. Now, I'm no mathematician, but they're making more than they're missing right now. And that comes from that shot selection that we were talking about earlier, the passing and just getting those open looks. Sometimes for Gitsan, they're leaning a little bit too hard on their stars to, to make that three-on-one, but they made the adjustments, and here we, do. here we have a tie game, 43 43. Seven minutes. We'll be right back. This intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by the Gits and Hereditary Chiefs and on the video by North Arm Transportation. Old Massett Village Council would like to congratulate the many players, coaches, volunteers. Seven minutes. 61st annual All Native. Civic Center in beautiful Prince Rupert, British Columbia, of the country of Canada, of the continent of North America. We are residing in the northern hemisphere of the world in the Russell Gamble Gymnasium. And we are in the intermediate division. I'm a Heechla, everybody. <laughs> I'm a Heechla Cousins. Got a good game going on here. 43-43 tie game. Maybe tell people what the, what the what what that means. What you're saying? Amahikla means good morning. Oh. good morning, Nidhi. In my language, it's Sangit La. Sangit La. Yeah. Cool. Learn something new every day. There we go. And I also like long walks on the beach. Well, medium long walks and uh, Fortnite. You like puppies? I love puppies. I have two dogs, Susan and Christopher. Shout out to Susan. Actually, more Christopher than Susan. I don't like Susan as much as Christopher. I do have favorites. You can pick favorites with dogs. Okay. <laughs> Can't pick favorites with children. I have one dog. Her name is Nova. She's beautiful. I miss her tons. <laughs> she's at home. I right. hope she's listening. <laughs> Back to the game. Get down inbound in the ball. Kalem Wilson carrying the ball for the get down. Kalem lighting it up the first half. Drives it in and puts it up off the backboard and in with the floater. Good work, Caleb. Picks up right where he left off. Now he's got a 20 spot already, giving, uh, gets down the lead. Lloyd with the ball, kicks it out to Crook. Crook over to Sampson, or Ryan. Nice bounce pass back into Lloyd. Lloyd with the nice, nice pass into Crooks. Back to Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd puts it up the floater, and he gets, makes it count. <laughs> and back we go, Lloyd versus Caleb. <laughs> Caleb and Lloyd. Putting on a good show. As Tristan Derrick puts it up. Doesn't get it to go down here. Rebound by Lucky Lions. Lucky Lions pushing the ball back up the court. Here's Lloyd. Do the word. Turnover here for the strike force. Gets in with the ball. Kalem. Looking to set it up for the get done. Long, deep three ball. Doesn't make it count out this time. Luckily, Lambs pushing the ball up the court quickly. Good defense, good read, good court awareness by number five, number nine. Just gets in with the ball. Looking to post it up. Kicks it back out. Tristan, wide open three ball in the corner. Ooh, no. Not He's been time. really struggling from deep so far this game, but. If you're a get down and you need him to, to keep shooting. Yeah, for sure. A little bit quiet from three-point line. Here's Ryan. Three ball, no good. Offensive rebound by Lucky Lambs. Ooh, good hustle there. Good read, good court awareness. He knew where his buddy was. He just threw it back. And that's good defense there by Wesley. As, uh, of course, he starts the half. Ball. And you know what? I don't, I don't think I've seen uh, Wesley take a deep breath. No, it doesn't even phase him. <laughs> He's fine. He hasn't <laughs> sat down. Only break he got was halftime. And I think he was running around out there still. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Strike force with the ball. Ryan, nice bounce pass into the high post. Kicks it out to Lloyd. Wide open three ball. Doesn't make it count out this time. Oh, Off like the that. uprights, we had a, uh, uh oh, Wesley and Sutherland looked like a shoulder to the face. Or sorry, that was uh, uh, TJ White and Wesley. Both coming down there. Looked like he smashed his face on his shoulder. It's Kalen with the ball, driving in with the left hand. Gets oh. swatted out by TJ White. Oh. Like the last pushes the ball back up the court. TJ White with the spin. Puts it up with the left hand, no good. Wesley. They're picking up that full court pressure there as Lockwell Lamb's kind of forced some seconds off the shot clock, not letting him get time to set up. 12 seconds. Looking to take matters into their own hands here on the defensive end. Step back three pointer by Caleb. No good. Lockwell Lamb's with the ball. Ryan. Ryan carrying the ball for Lucka Lambs. Pass it over to Lloyd. Takes it in, forces. Gets hacked on the play. In the he, he felt jumper. the contact. When the defender doesn't give you that shooter's lane or that layup lane, he just forced the contact so smart. And he he didn't shoot the three when he was wide open. That's, that's the marquee of a great player, just understanding your team and the energy it takes to to make things happen. I'm just so impressed with Lloyd Dudor. That was a veteran move there. Yeah, because you'd expect him to have the hot hand to want to shoot that wide open three. Yep. Instead, he drives in, draws a foul. Just baited him. And can't get the first one to roll. So Too it's still a tie game. I Seven think, minutes left in the third. I think his hair got in his way there. Needs a headband. Yep. No he good on the second. Hazleton with the rebound. There's Derek. Over to Caleb. Caleb. Give him the eyebrow fake. A nice pass into Tristan. Gets his own rebound. Gets swatted out there. Yeah, that was a good help side there by White as he came and tipped that off the backboard. Tristan's oh, and it limping. looks like Tristan might have rolled his ankle there. He's running into the. He's heading right back to the locker room. Hopefully he comes back here all good. Yeah, we'll see what's going on first. I'm going to go assist. Strike force with the ball. Off to get that turnover. About 47-45. Ooh, good work. Good pass by Lloyd into the baseline there. To Ryan who gets hacked going up for two. Jacob Ryan is so crafty with his elevation. He literally floats. He just floats up there, and then he just can do whatever he wants. No good on the first attempt. Free throws becoming an issue here early for Michael Lambs in the second half. Cool down at the halftime there. Puts that one in. Gets in. Inbound on the ball. Caleb carrying the ball. Gives a long feed. And it connects. Turns around. Fade away. Get their own rebound. And again, gets in. I'd like to see them pushing the, the ball around the floor a bit more. Right now, again, it's just that one pass. You get the ball, you shoot. Yeah. You need to create for your teammates. Lloyd putting the moves on. Dancing around up there. Throws it up, no good. Gets on with the rebound, pushing the ball up. And that had to have been a plan for Lockwell Lambs to apply that full court pressure there just to eat seconds off the shot clock. And there we go. Gets on working the ball around. Tyrell puts up a floater, gets makes a count. And just like that, see, more than two passes on an offensive possession creates an open look. Easy shots. Money. 49-46, we've got a three-point game here. Lloyd Dudeward with the ball, passes it up to TJ White. Over to number 10. Richard Sampson. Down in the post to Crook, looking to make some barbecue chicken. Not today. Yeah, good job there by Crook. As he smacked it off White, it's going to stay Lockwell Lamb's possession here. And they're going to get a new shot clock off that. Oh, and we didn't even notice. Josh Wesley checked out. Oh, wow. Well. But that was a short break because he's back in, and so is Tristan Derrick. That's good news for the get on. Tristan Derrick. I think he had to get a new piece of gum. Three ball by Lloyd in the corner. Yeah, and Crook going to come in and just try to smack it out, going to get called over the back. And gets on now running a 2-3 defense. Uh, I don't think they were running a 2-3 defense earlier, so that's an adjustment. 
they might have been not enjoying the amount of points they were scoring in the paint, so. Gets out looking to set it up. Caleb looking yeah. at Dads. Gets ball poked away. Good Dads. Good defense there. And Crook has four fouls now for Lockwell. Ooh, he takes oh. it. He gets swatted out by TJ White. White, that's his third block this quarter. Gigi's going to be happy with him today. <laughs> <laughs> Filling up her smokehouse. Lloyd taking it in with the left hand. Right hand floater. No good. Rebound. Good hustle by Lloyd. Still fighting for that ball. Josh. Throwing down the hill. Mary, he connects it. Mahomes. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> there we go. 51 to 46. Four minutes, 42 seconds left. Lion with the ball. Takes it in. Finds the cutting. Sampson puts it in for two. Nice. Back and forth we go. Three-point lead for Gitsan. Tristan with the ball. Crossing the half-court line for Gitsan. Over to Caleb. Caleb looking to put the moves back on. Takes a long range three pointer all the way from Kassan House. No good. Lucko Lounge with the ball. There's Ryan. Crosses him up. Kicks it back out to Lloyd. Lloyd getting double teamed as soon as he gets the ball. Crook firing from three. No good. Kind of forced that shot there. Yeah. Stay on the ball over to Josh. Josh. Quick first step. Kicks it back out to number two. Picks up his dribble. It's Tristan Derrick taking it right through the middle. Wiggles his way through, puts it up. Rebound, offensive rebound. They get it again. Gets in with the ball, recovery. Puts it up. No good. Multiple chances there for Gitsan. Couldn't finish. Go do the word with the ball. Getting double teamed. Good save Opposite there by Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Ryan with the ball, driving baseline, trying to kick it out. Oh, nice pass to the cutting. Oh, Richard Sampson. <laughs> One point game, gets and lead. Three minutes left here in the third. Tristan Derrick, looking to take a baseline. Takes a step back, mid-range jumper, makes it count. Nothing but net right the, in his face. The threes weren't dropping earlier. He takes it in, takes a step back, long two, but hey, it's two points. Do what you gotta do to get yourself in the game here. Good defense by Caleb, almost pushing the ball away. Ooh, TJ White puts up a floater, gets his own rebound, kicks it back out. Ryan. Ooh, nice ball fake there. Gets the uh, rims out there. A little bit too short. I think he was surprised with how much space he had after. Yeah, I don't think he, I don't think he anticipated the fake out being that oh to work that well. But it worked out. Jacob Ryan, super crafty. So three-point lead here for the Gitsan. 239 left here in the third quarter. They're leading Lockwell Lambs, who have led uh, the majority of this game, but it's been super close within three, four points the whole time. Good back and forth action. Kalen looking to put the dance moves on. Oh, and oh. he does. Gets to the hole. He can't put it up and finish. Ooh. Ooh, TJ White putting on some flashy moves there with the ball. Richard Sampson behind the back. Ball almost gets picked off. Lloyd Dudeward, fake shot, gets the ball back. Doing a good job on Lloyd this half. Ooh, TJ puts it up right over Josh. The best defender on the floor, Josh Wesley. I don't even there. know how he got that up over. <laughs> <him>. Yeah, <laughs> that was a tough shot made by White. Here's Caleb. Lob pass into. Dangerous pass. I'm surprised that got through. Yeah. Threaded the needle there for real. Just a perfect touch with that pass, too. Inbounding the ball is strike force. 52 to 53, 1 minute 48 seconds left here. The Jim Ciccone Civic Center. First game of the Intermediate Division. Good back and forth action here. Ooh. Good read, defensive end by Josh. Picks it off, kicks it up to Caleb. Oh, he gets swatted out. Stuffed again by DJ White. Fourth block of the third quarter. And he's carrying the ball for his team. Oh, the bounce pass unable to be handled there. That would have been a wide open look for Christian Wesley. And the pace is picked up here, Mav. 53 to 52, Caleb with the ball behind the back twice. 
crosses him up, takes it in through the middle. Looking to pass it around. Josh wide open for three. Ooh, air ball. No good. Good hustle there. Threw it off his foot there. Strike force with the ball. As Lloyd gets gets him. his cookies stolen there. Ooh. Caleb Caleb. bangs down the three. <laughs> Nothing but net. Four point lead here now. 40 seconds left here in the third quarter. There's Lloyd looking to answer. It gets blocked by Tristan Dirk. Tristan what? Dirk. Wow. Coast to coast, takes it in, he gets the charge. Good defense by TJ White. White, TJ White emerging an as an animal of a defender. Oh my God. You know, I really love watching good defense. And that was amazing. He's got like four blocks, probably a few alterations. Got strike force with the ball. Gets his. <laughs> Caleb with a quick steal and a quick two points. It's too easy. He says you can't steal. You can't dribble the ball like that in front of me. Buckle Lambs with the ball. Ooh, another steal by Tristan. Hazelton looking to pick it up on defense here. Two steals in a row. So five seconds left here in the third quarter, and Gitsan really forcing the issue here on the defensive end. A six point game here. Luck of Lambs fires a Hail Mary. Oh! He's a off the backboard. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> oh my God. 58 to 55. <laughs> this intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by the Good Center and their Chiefs and on the video by North Arm Transportation. Don't go anywhere. You got to come right back. <laughs> North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lacqua Lambs, and to everyone participating in the 61st All-Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs. Lloyd Dudor launches a three and drains it to tie the game. Can't even do the intro. These inters are firing. 58-58. Strike for us with the ball. Good defense there. Good court awareness. Lloyd Dudor taking it in. Passes it in to number 11, Sutherland. TJ White, wide open three ball. Fires. No good. Get their own offensive rebound. Lloyd again for three. No good. Heat check time. Tie game. Nine minutes left here. Kalen carrying the ball for a get ten. Get ten. Over to Tristan. Tristan fires for three. No good. Still trying to find his rhythm. Strike force with the ball. Takes it in. Gets one. Oh, oh, Josh. Oh, get that garbage out of here, he says. Huge block. He kind of bobbled it, anticipating Wesley coming, but Wesley got all of it. That was a great hustle back. Another turnover off the inbound. Oh, and he goes down trying to get that ball. Looks like we got uh, Gitsan ball here. Gitsan getting ready to inbound. Tie game here, eight minutes, 54 seconds left. Tristan with the ball at the corner. Between his legs, takes a baseline, puts up a floater. They get their own offensive rebound. Tristan with the ball again over to Josh. Wide open three ball. Takes it. And he makes it count with the nice roll there. Josh Wesley getting it done on both ends of the court. There we go. 61-58. Eight minutes, 30 seconds left of the fourth quarter. We've got some exciting action here. Nice bounce pass. Lack of lambs. Strike force. TJ White going up and gets hacked. That was Gregory Sutherland. We had a switch on the jersey numbers. And uh, for those people at home who don't know, it's it's a nightmare getting the correct jersey numbers from the teams as players constantly swap and sometimes they put on the wrong jersey. So our apologies. Um, but we got the right numbers now and that's Sutherland shooting the free throws. 
Oh, that's Sutherland. Yeah. We were calling him. We were calling him TJ. We were calling him TJ. Okay. So, Sutherland, you're making so, your family proud. Sorry about that, Greg. Greg's yet and Gigi. And it's going to stay Lamb's ball. 8.28 left here in the game. 61-58, three-point game. Lacolam's inbounding. Oh, finds Sutherland. <laughs> I almost called him TJ. <laughs> <laughs> and he picks up that foul there. Is Sutherland. I almost called him TJ again. <laughs> <laughs> and he's fouled out. Oh, no. Wow. That's oh, a huge, huge loss. Huge loss. Eight minutes left. There's still tons of time here. And that's a risk you take, leaving him out there. Gets in. And it's hard to see him go out on not even his defensive end. Yeah. Uh, they're definitely going to miss him out there. He's huge. He's got like, what, four blocks so far? But strike four is still making a huge impact on the defensive end. But they threw it away. Throw it away. And these are just those intermediate mistakes that you see happening in a lot of the games, just trying to force the issue. And... Instead of running the ball down the floor, just a little bit too excited out there. Caleb, lob pass into Tristan. Tristan, nice little scoop pass. Gets it knocked away. Turnover. Went right between his fingers. Luckle Lambs with the ball. Richard Sampson carrying the ball for Luckle Lambs out to Lloyd Dudaward. Wide open three ball. No good. Not this time. Gets on with the ball. Caleb. Getting trapped. Good defense by Strike Force Lloyd. Not letting him dribble the ball too easy there. Three pointer, no good. Rebound. Defensive rebound for Luck of Lambs. Luck of Lambs pushing the ball down the court. Richard Sampson. Into number 10. He puts it up. Good defense by Kitsan. That was number 11. Oh, West Josh gets blocked. Gets blocked. Gets his own rebound, puts it up again, no good. Some Wesley on Wesley action there. They might be cousins. And they're looking for an injury here. He might have banged knees. Oh no, and Josh Wesley calling for uh -oh. a sub. Gonna take a rare break. Three point game here, seven minutes, 16 yeah, seconds. Yeah, looks left. like they just bang knees. Take a little breather here. Richard Sampson carrying the ball. Looking to set it up. Lob pass. Dangerous lob pass in the number 12 there. Ryan. Ryan. Ooh. <laughs> nice little scoop with the left hand. Two scoops of ice cream for two points. Vanilla and strawberry. My two favorite flavors. <laughs> Almost stolen away there. One point game. 61-60. Gets and lead. 6.52 left here in the fourth. Inbound in the ball is the gets and. Kalen wide open three ball. No, no good. A little quiet here in the second half is Kalen. Simshan with the ball. Lloyd, three ball. Doesn't make a count out this time. Get their own offensive rebound. Puts it up. Number 11, Theodore White. The real TJ. The real TJ. There we go. Gets hacked on the play there. So he's going to head to the line for two. This intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by the Gets Unheard Terry Chiefs and on the video by North Arm Transportation. We'll be back after these free throws. North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lac Lambs, and to everyone participating in the 61st All-Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs. Ooh, coast to coast. 
Ida Guan. Miles of Beaches are just seconds from your doorstep. For photos, rates, and bookings, okay, three, Longhouse two, yeah. one, go. and go. Welcome back. Uh, get called with the travel there. It's Johnson. And it's still a one-point game. Lock Lamb's only shooting 20% from the free throw line, so it's been an issue here, but it's still a one-point game. Three ball for Lloyd. Slash. Oh, making a count. Lloyd due to work. 63 to 61. We've got a two-point game here. Pretty tight. Five minutes, 50 seconds left. Kalen looking to put it behind his back, looking to drive it in. Good defense by Strike Force. Pick it off. Good recovery by Gitsan. Passes it in. Kalen wide open. Three ball. Can't make a count. Can't answer. A little bit quiet here in the second half. Kalen trying to find his rhythm here. And we're going to have another timeout. This senior media game is brought to you on the radio by the Get and Hardy Chiefs and on video by North Arm Transportation. We'll be right back after these messages. North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lac Willams, and to everyone participating in the 61st All-Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs.
Three minutes left, three-point game. Lockwell-Lamb's down. Jacob Ryan, coast to coast. Oh, he can't get floated in there. Roll. Like I said, run. Oh, oh he, he steals gets it. He gets, he gets the foul. Jacob Ryan. Jacob Ryan. Good hustle. Oh, my God. Puts it up. Misses. Loses the rebound. Gets the steal. Puts it back up again. Gets hacked. And we're going to get a timeout here. This intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by the Get 10 Hereditary Chiefs and on the video by North Arm Transportation. We'll be right back after these messages. Silver tip. North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lac Willams, and to everyone participating in the 61st All Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs. seconds left in the game. Tristan, over to Josh. Josh, over to Caleb. Caleb looking to set it up for the get sun. Take it in. Left side, finds a lane. Gets Just the loses poked the away. handle. Slipped. Yeah, could have been poked away. Must have grabbed some popcorn during the last break there. Strike force with the ball. Ryan. Ooh, nice little ball handling moves out there. Getting picked up by Caleb. Finds a wide open Lloyd. Fires no good. A little bit off there. Rebound by Ryan. Ryan puts it up. No good. Defensive rebound by Getzans, number three. Tyrell Harris. Harris with the ball. Looking to take it in on Lloyd. Oh, he does. Nice bounce pass in to number two. No good. Oh, they're going to give that ball to Lockwell Lambs. Like a lounge basketball. We got a two-point game. One minute, 55 seconds left. Jacob Ryan carrying the ball for the Lock of Lambs. Ooh, nice behind the back pass to Lloyd. Looking flashy out there. Lloyd puts Ooh. it in. Wow, what a pass. Two that's minutes, under two minutes. Right? You make that pass, that's crazy. <laughs> Tristan for three. And he out. Splash. Woo. Like I said, Tristan Derrick, he's just got to keep shooting, and he did. That's his first three-point made here under two minutes to go. 71-68. Block. Good block. Good defense there by number three, Tyrell Harris. Wow. Three-point lead, 130 to go. Gets on lead. Tristan Derrick puts him up with his first three-point field goal made. Making him count when it matters the most. 71-68, one minute, 25 seconds left. Caleb with the ball. Getting picked up by Richard. Takes it straight in. Finds the lane. Rebound by Josh. Gets hacked going up again. And Josh Wesley, the man with the minutes, getting it done in every aspect of the game, and you love to see it. Generally, they give the player the game to the guy with the most points. But Josh Wesley, to me, has really been the player of the game so far for a get done. He has just been getting it done everywhere. Doing everything. Literally everything. And he misses that one, but the next free throw, if he makes it, will make it a two-possession game. One minute, 18 seconds left. Fans are getting loud in here. And he does. Four-point game. Michael Lambs. Now they don't necessarily need a three. Two-possession game. Jacob Ryan carrying the ball. Taking it in, baseline. Finds the cutting. Number 11, Theodore White. Can't make a count here. Caleb carrying the ball for the get time. Get time looking to kill the clock here. This He's could be the dagger. Game. Dagger, he says. Oh, he takes it in, puts it up with the right Charge! hand. Charge! Good defense there. Is that Theodore? Yeah. Good defense there by the real TJ. 
So 54 seconds. 54 seconds left. They need to clear more players down the floor. They got four players in their own zone. Full court pressure here by Get 10. There's Richard Sampson carrying the ball, trying to thread the needle there. Gets Due it to the gets fouled. Puts it up, almost gets the end one. So he's heading to the line, and these are very, very important free throws. Crucial that he makes them both. Got to make it a one possession game here and then get it back on the defensive end. Full court pressure, maybe trap. Good on the first one. Three point game. No pressure. No pressure at all from the young guy. Two point game, full court press by Lockwood Lambs. Just a due to work. Gets down with the ball. Looking to make it a two possession game again. Trying to find Caleb. Good defense by Strike Force. Strike Force with the steal. Good hustle, but stolen, oh, back. stolen back by Tristan. So now they have a full shot clock. Oh no. 30 seconds. Josh takes it in. Trying to draw the charge. Gets it to go. Four point game. Oh my God. 22 seconds left. Strike Force not calling a timeout. They're just going to play it out. Coach is going to let them play it out. Gets fouled. That's going to send him to the line. It's going to send situation. Samson to the line. They're in the bonus. Wow, 19 seconds left. That's I don't know about that foul. I don't know if this team was telling him to foul or what. But you like in these in this type of situation, you want to score while the clock is stopped. Yes. Hack a shack. I mean, if he makes the first one here. Okay, he missed. But if he made the first one, missed the second, they get it out, kick it out for a three. It's a tie game. You know, that's the kind of situation you got to think about. Yeah. Well, given their free throw percentage, they probably do, are telling them to foul. Now they have to foul. Now Lockwell Lambs has to foul. But we're going to get a timeout. This intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by the Get Down Renner Terry Chiefs and on the video by North Arm Transportation. We'll be right back after this. North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lockwell Lambs, and to everyone participating in the 61st All-Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs. Welcome back here to the All-Native Basketball Tournament. Gitsan holding on to a three-point lead. They managed to get the ball to Kalem Wilson. Not in the bonus situation, which isn't great uh, for Lockwa Lambs. As uh, they have to get a couple quick fouls here. They need a steal, really. The full court pressure has to be there. Kalem Wilson finding Kalen the ball again. The ball. They're going to foul, foul him. They're still not in the bonus, so 15 seconds left in the game. Best case scenario for Lockwa Lambs is they get the steal. They really, really need it. Full court pressure. Don't let the ball in Caleb's hands. So they're not setting a screen for Caleb. They're going to let Caleb do all the work and go to the baseline. Oh. Long court oh. pass. Oh! Good read there. Blocking Wesley the wide open. throws it back Wesley. in. Good hustle by Wesley. Yeah, foul Keeping there. the ball in there for <laughs> the kids. I don't know if they're in the bonus situation yet, but that was a dangerous pass by Tristan Derrick because he went full court for Wesley. It worked. These guys are stressing me out. <laughs> <laughs> that was intense. So it is the bonus situation. You got a three-point game so here. So Torrin Daniels makes one of these, and it's a two-possession game. Big free throws here for the get -ten. Good on the first attempt. Making them count when it matters most. 75-71, 11.9 seconds. And he misses the second. 
Oh, and, and they're they going to call it gets that ball again. And that could be it there. That might be the dagger. Ten seconds left. Good hard-fought battle from both teams, though, Mav. Wow, incredible talent on both sides of the floor. It's Kalen with the ball. Kalem, 35 points, just going to dribble out. They're going to foul him. This was a, definitely a great game by both teams here. Lloyd Dudeward, Kalem putting on a show for the fans today. First game of the Intermediates Division at the 61st Annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. Here in Lachian, a.k.a. Prince Rupert, a.k.a. Get Mach Makai. Good on the first one. 76-71, no good on the second. He might have just missed that on purpose to run the clock Ooh. out. Wesley steals it, gonna dribble it out. And a good showing from both sides, but gets in. End the game with more points, and they move on in the intermediate division by a score of 76-71. to Lock will Am stand up and get ready for the future, because it is now your intermediate boys put on a show here. That's this intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by the Get Sand Ready Chiefs, and on the video by North Arm Transportation. North Arm Transportation proudly provides fuel and freight delivery service to coastal communities from Old Masset to Vancouver. We'd like to wish the best of luck to our customers from Old Masset, Bella Bella, Hartley Bay, and Lackwell Lambs, and to everyone participating in the 61st All-Native Basketball Tournament. Visit us online at northarm.bc.ca or follow us on Instagram at Pink Tugs. <laughs> 